Hello everyone and welcome to the class, to our yoga fusion class, um, which will, you know, be hopefully beneficial for you to uh, learn how to get fit, to understand your body better, how it works, and to gain some, some inner energy. So let's get started. We'll, we normally start with warm-up, then we'll go to the main part, and the final part is the cool down. So let's get started. We usually start with the self-massage to activate your healing hands. So let's place our hands together and wrap them really well to create a bit of energy in between the hands. Feel the warm-up going through the fingers your healing fingers, right, then motion hands massage, very gentle, pleasant feeling, and just focusing on what you're doing, just focusing on what you're doing, focusing your mind, relaxing your mind at the same time, and rub again, now gentle claps, this is a going up and down, and then we're energizing ourselves, getting ready for the main part. And bring your hands together, stay calm, stay still and see how that feels. Notice any sensations, especially in the fingers and the hands. See how it feels. Excellent and release now with your energized fingers and hands massage your face muscles gently a few times to re-energize the area then the front of the neck and then the back of the neck we'll be going through all the body parts back of the neck then the upper back massage circular massage to the upper back Side by side. Excellent. Then the shoulders. Circular massage for the shoulders. And the other side. Good. Now the whole arm from the shoulder to the fingers. And the other side. Keep breathing. Keep smiling. Enjoy what you're doing. Excellent. Now put your feet apart. Make sure you're stable, unlock your knees and massage the front of the legs bending forward and back of the legs unfolding up, excellent and again gently down and gradually up, one more time, down and up, now low back massage, very important, start with circular massage, make sure you Massaging it properly, re-energizing the area, then rubbing. When you rub, you go up and down with your hand, up and down, excellent. And finishing up with the circular massage again. Release and close your eyes, see how that feels. Just allow yourself to reflect. What do you feel? Very good. Excellent. Now place your hands together in the position and we'll start circling the arms up and gently down. And again, hands together, the arms going up and down. Now bend your knees this time and keep going. Up and down. And up. And down. Now let's start synchronizing the breathing with the movement. Inhale, exhale. Excellent. Keep going. Inhale, exhale. One more. Very good. Now we'll move the weight to the side, shifting the weight. Excellent. To the center. And then to the other side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Bending yourself as far as you want. Bending your knee as well. 
inhale, exhale. Very good. The last time. Done. Beautiful. Now let's shake the muscles, the arms, the shoulders. Shake your feet, shake your legs. Vibrate to release all the blockages. Make sure you are vibrating. Ooh, very good sound. Done. Beautiful. Now keep your feet apart. Keep your knees unlocked. And bring your arms at the front to the shoulders level. And then gently down. And again. Up and out. In and down. Now we'll go up and down, working with your knees as well, sinking down, up and down. Now we'll try to synchronize that movement with your breathing. Inhale, exhale, excellent. Inhale, exhale. Sinking down a little bit more each time. Inhale, exhale. Last time, inhale, exhale. Now the next movement, bring your hands to the chin, chin and push out. Very good. Now circle your arms around, bring them down. Keep moving up and down at the same time. Arms up. Arms out, around, and down. Now with the breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Well done, keep going. And around, and down. Now adding something else, up. And when you go out with your arms, you turn a little bit your shoulders and Open your arms, keep the turn, bring back to the center, and again up, chin out, and out. Good, we're twisting the spine at the same time. Out, and out, and down. Up, and out, and out, and down. And one more, to the center. And out and down. Bring your hands below the navel. Your right hand on the uh, goes first, left on the toe. Bring your feet together and see how that feels. Notice any sensations in the body. Excellent. Open your eyes, shake your muscles, vibrate. And now bring your heels up and then gently down with a bit of a stroke. Down and down, 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 down. Vibrating here. Yes, you might include your shoulders and the move, the arms. Allow them to do whatever. Releasing all the tension, all the problems. Shaking tree, releasing all the unnecessary problems slow down the last and stop excellent now sway your arms keep your head straight sway your arms twist the spine but keep your head straight to avoid the dizziness to keep yourself balanced sway the arms now you can look at the low back and tummy to energize the area and you can look at the leave and split here. It's a waist. Then you can look at the heart and lungs. To say hello my heart, hello my lungs. I love you so much. Hope you love me back. Now the last and hold. Now place both heels on the floor and be ready for the spinal twist. Turn your head to the other shoulder, turn your shoulders a bit more. Twist the spine and hold, focusing on the spine sensation. Now release your head back first onto the shoulders and go to the other side. Hard, twist and hold and release. 
Well done. Shake everything well, vibrate. We've done the warm up. Thank you. Now we're ready to do the main part. So let's start with the mountain pose first. So put your feet apart parallel. Almost shoulders width and hips width apart. Your knees unlocked as usual. Shoulders down. If you're not sure about your shoulders, bring them up and drop them down. Excellent. Feel yourself grounded through the feet and growing up through the crown of your head. The spine is straight, or muscles holding your balance. Feel yourself stable, steady, and magnificent as a mountain. You may close your eyes and just imagine what you can see from the top of the mountain. Keep breathing through the nose. Feel a good support from the ground. Feel you growing up through the crown of your head and you're balanced in between. Now open your eyes when you're ready and inhale gently up. Bring the arms up, hands together above your head and hold. Now gently bend to one side, as far as you want, and release. Well done, bring your hands to the forehead first, focus, and then to the heart. Excellent. Now send your love to the world, open yourself wide. Feel yourself open and receptive. Now bring the club back to the heart and hold. And again, bring the arms up, hands together from your head and gently bend to the other side. And release. Very good. Now bring your hands to the forehead, focus, and then to the heart level. Now send your love to the world. Open yourself wide. You may turn your head as well to one of the sides. Then bring the club back to the heart and hold. See how that feels. And release. Well done. Now bring the arms up in the position like this. A bit challenging. Hold. And now bring your heels up. Balancing. Balancing on the tiptoes. Feel yourself centered and relaxed. Now release the heels, release the arms, turn and separate your arms, bend the knees, well done. Now open the arms and hug yourself, mom, and cuddle yourself. Now hold, hug yourself tight and breathe against that hug. Feel the resistance when you're breathing through the hug. Excellent. Now open your arms. Feel the difference in breathing. Good. One more time. Hug yourself tight. And cuddle yourself. Say nice words to yourself. Stop. Hug yourself tight. And breathe against that hug. See how that feels. Working against the hug. Make sure you love yourself enough for the better hug. Then open. Good. And release. Very good. Right. Now let's go to the back of the mat. <clears throat> We're ready to move forward and backward without looking. So keep your chin parallel to the floor. Bring your arms at the back. 
So look at the posture. Shoulders down, spine is straight, chest is open. Bring your heels up and start walking on your tiptoes. Walking forward, tiny steps, baby steps without looking down. Stop and then move backwards again without looking, but think of what you're doing. Tiny steps, baby steps, and release. Hope you enjoyed it. All the kids normally do. <laughs> right, now we'll do similar things, but this time working on the heels. So different muscles of the legs are working. And we're also exercising the sense of orientation in the space, but we don't look from what we're doing. We're just focusing on the sensation. Then backwards without looking, chin is still parallel to the floor. Excellent. And release. Well done, everyone. Very good. Now, balancing exercise, balancing on one foot now. So, let's check the posture first. Shoulders down, spine is straight, core muscles holding us. And we feel very grounded. Right, now get started, bring one knee up, you may hold that knee if you want, you may even try to move the foot. All those extra things are optional. The main thing is to be on one foot. Great, walk the knee to the side and bring your arms up. Gently moving the arms. And release. Well done, everyone. Now the same thing to the other side. Check the posture first. Before you start, make sure you're grounded and balanced on two feet. Then shift the weight and allow the other knee to go up. If you decide to hold your knee with your arms, please keep the spine straight. Then you may experiment with the foot. See if you're happy to rotate the foot. Make sure it's not disturbing the balance. Excellent. Now gently move to the other posture, which is a three pose. Move the arms if you're happy about it. If not, just keep the arms straight. Right, heart level. Then open the arms. Feel yourself centered, grounded, and gently release. Well done, everyone. Very good. Now we're ready to move to the next sequence, which is the Warrior sequence. I might need to take my socks off. You may do the same thing. Okay, put your feet apart as wide as possible. The wider the better. Then bring the arms to the sides, stretching. Turn your left foot out, your right foot slightly in. Keep your shoulders and hips facing forward. Turn your head to the left and bend your left knee as far as you want and hold warrior two. Keep breathing. Now bring your left arm upright, arm down and maybe shift the weight. Reverse warrior. And then coming back to warrior two, again sinking down a little bit more. Now bend the elbow, bring the other arm up, hold, and release. Now place your hands on the floor, turn your feet into parallel position, and release your head down. Don't support it with your neck. Now if you're comfortable in this position, you may also bend your knees slightly, if you need, and then gently Shift your weight from your feet to your hands, back and forth. Make sure you enjoy the movement. And you do it gently, carefully. 
Excellent. Now stop and be ready to unfold up. So go gradually. Vertebra by vertebra. And the head is the last. Excellent. How that feels? Shake everything. Shake all the muscles. Vibrate. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. So put your feet apart. Turn one foot, one foot out, probably your right foot out, your left foot in, arms to the side, left to the side, and then bend your right knee. Warrior two to the right. Very powerful pose. Good. Now bring your right arm up, your left down. Shift your weight to the back foot. Hold and go back into Borichu again. Sinking down a little bit more. Excellent. Now bend the elbow, bring the other arm up, stretching. Hold. Bring that arm to your ear, then gently release. Hands on the floor, head is down. And again, we're ready to shift the weight back and forth. Back and forth, from the feet to the hands. Little two. Ready to unfold. Gradually. Excellent. Beautiful. Very good. Now, the last sequence is the sun salutation. Yes. We'll go through the 12 different postures to salute the sun and to exercise all the muscles. Right, now go to the front of the mat. Place your hands together at the heart and focus. Now inhale, bring your arms up. Stretching up, then bend backwards a little bit to open the chest. Then gently bend forward. Hands on the floor, head is down. Now bring your left foot up and step way back. Lunge position. Very good. Now bring your right foot next to your left. Plank position when your body is parallel to the floor. Now bend your knees, lay down on the tummy. Have a rest. Well done. Now inhale and go through all fours into the child position. Relax here. Keep breathing. Good. Now we'll go through all four into downward facing dog. So release your head down, tuck your toes under and bring your hips up first. Head is down, hips up, heels towards the floor. Adjust yourself into the posture. See how it works better for you, how it feels better for you. Downward facing dog, reverse posture. When the head is below the heart, so be careful with that posture and stop every if you feel you've had enough. Good, now bring your left foot at the front into the lunge. You may release your right knee on the floor and bring that foot at the front for the lunge position. And then bring your right foot next to the left, forward bend and unfold up gradually. Arms going up, hands together by your head. And then to the heart length. Hold. And just allow yourself to see how you feel. And release. 
Well done, we'll do the same thing to the other side. You may go to the other side of the mat, you will stay at the same point, it's totally up to you. So let's get started with the hands together at the heart level. Focus. Now inhale, bring the arms up, stretching up. Then bend backwards to open the chest. Then bend forward gently. Take your time. Hands on the floor, not just the fingers. Hands on the floor. With your fingers apart. Then bring your right foot up and step way back. Lunge position. Remember, we do have options. You can release your knee on the floor if you want. Or you can do it up. Very good. Now bring your left foot to your right and go into plank position when your body is parallel to the floor. Then release your knees down, lay down on the floor. Have a rest. Well done. And now bring your hands under the shoulders. We are going into Cobra. Bring your head up. Bend the shoulders. Bend the chest. You may leave your elbows on the floor or you may lift your elbows. Focusing on the low back. Shoulders away from the ears. Hold. And release. Well done. Have a rest for a second. Release all the muscles. Good. Bring your hands under the shoulders. We are going through all fours into the puppy or child. When you go for the puppy, you keep your hips just above the knees. Head is down. Puppy position. If you decide to go into the child, you bring your hips towards the heels and release your back down. Keep breathing. See how your low back feels. See how the shoulders feel. Good. Now we'll go gently through all fours into downward facing dog. Hips up, head is down, heels towards the floor. Keep moving around. Just find the better spot for you. So the better spot where you feel comfortable. Okay? Make sure the low back is straight. You may bend the knees, but keep your low back straight. Okay? Keep your head down. Don't support it with your neck. Okay? Very good. Now bring your right foot at the front for the lunge. Raise your left knee on the floor or in the proper lunge. Hold and then bring your left foot next to your right into the forward bend and we're ready to unfold up gradually. Arms up, hands together above your head. Hold and bring your hands to the heart level. In physical contact with sternum, hold. See how that feels. And release. Well done, everyone. This is the end of the main part. Yes, yeah, so we are moving to the final part of the class, um, which include uh, exercises on the floor and also cool down. So let's lay down on the back. Make yourself comfortable on the floor. Always make sure you are comfortable and happy to move around and that uh, all the movements should be pleasant. No pain. Just relax your muscles on the floor. Make sure your shoulders blades are flat on the floor. Feel the back of the flat is in contact. Uh, the, the back of the head is in contact with the floor. Arms on the floor, legs, all the muscles are warm and heavy and melting into the floor. 
Excellent. Now we are ready for the stick pose. Inhale, bring your toes up first and then bring the arms up and over. Stretch the arms, stretch the spine, stretch your legs by pushing your heels forward and hold. Very nice and simple pose, stick pose. Gives you a good stretch. Very nice. And release. We'll do it one more time. Inhale, bring your toes up, then the arms up and over. Stretch and hold. But make sure you don't hold your breath. And release. Well done, everyone. Now bring your left knee towards the chest. Hold. Stretch and hold. And release. Now bend your right knee, bring it towards the chest, stretch and hold. And release. Beautiful. <clears throat> now bend both knees, place your feet together on the floor, then open the knees towards the floor. Place your hands on the inner thighs and gently rock from side to side. See how that feels just to open the hips joints a bit more. Now stop rocking. And then place your hands together at the heart level. Inhale and extend your arms up. Keep your hands together. Shoulders blades are flat on the floor. Knees are open. Allow your knees to go towards the floor with a force of gravity. Excellent. Open to the universe pose. Hold. Feel yourself open and receptive. Very good. Now bring your knees together and towards your chest. Hold them and gently rock from side to side. You may also cross your feet. And gently rock from side to side, massaging the back muscles, the spine. That's all to stop. And now bring your feet up, bring your arms up so they are parallel to the legs. Cool. And now let's start shaping, vibrating. Shake your legs, shake your feet, shake your toes. Shake your arms, shake your fingers, shake your nails, shake it out. Release all the unnecessary tension, all the problems here. And also improve the circulation in your limbs. Keep shaking. Now stop, stretch your limbs up, then bend your right knee. Hold. You can move the left foot, flat and extend, see how the muscles work, excellent, and now switch gently, good, and move your right foot, better to now bend both knees, now open your knees, keep your feet together and then clap your feet, clap your feet. Very good exercise to increase circulation in your feet, especially when it's really cold and your feet and your arms might be cold. That's all to stop. Bring your knees together and towards the chest. You may lift your head. And then release. Legs on the floor, arms on the floor, shoulders blades are flat on the floor. Relax. See how that feels. Notice any sensations in the feet, in the arms, maybe fingers, maybe even in the lower back, in the muscles of the legs and arms. Excellent. Now let's turn around and lay down on the tummy. Extend yourself on the floor. Good. Now bring your hands 
under the shoulder and go into the sphinx position. Elbows on the floor. Elbows up. Now release your head down so it's parallel to the floor and move your chin to the left. Now bring your right foot up and hold, working on the left and the right sides of the brain. Hold. Now release your foot down, bring your head to the center. Look up, maybe go into cobra. You may stay in the spring if you want. Shoulders away from the ears. And release yourself down. You may switch in a bit. Good. Now we are ready to do the same thing to the other side. Inhale and go into Sphinx position. Elbows on the floor. Release your head down, move your chin to the right. Keep your head parallel to the floor and then bring your left foot up. And hold, see how that feels. Release your foot down, bring your head to the center. Bring your chin up, go maybe into Cobra or stay in the Sphinx. And release. Have a rest, well done. Now we're ready for the next pull. Bring your hands under the shoulders. We are going into the all fours position. Take your time. When you are in all fours, make sure your hands under the shoulders and your knees under the hips. Good. And then we're ready to move forward and back. Back and forth. Rocking. In the all fours position. Once you learn the movement externally, let's go from inside. So let's synchronize that movement with your breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last time, there I told you. Now let's rock from side to side with the head movement. So you turn your head to the same time and again. Try to go with the flow of your breathing. From side to side. One more time. Excellent. Better two. Now we'll go into the puppy. Place both elbows on the floor. Head is down. Hips up and hold. Good. Now extend your left arm. To the front, you may keep your elbow down, but extend the arm. We are opening the heart meridian here. And hold. Now extend your right arm at the front. And hold. Well done. Now we are going back into all fours. Now into Japanese sitting position. Sitting. On your heels. If it's comfortable, if not, we do have an option when you bring your hips up. Good. Now let's twist the spine in here in this position to your left and then to your right. Good. And then bring the arms up and the hips up. Hands together, stretching up. And then gently down, sitting on the heels, arms to the heart level, and again, up, and down. Now with the breathing, inhale, up, and exhale, down. And the last time, inhale, up, and from here we'll go into all fours. And then into downward facing dog. And from here we're ready to walk on feet towards the hands. Walk on hands towards the feet into forward bend position. And then unfold. Gradually. Up hands together by your head and then bring them to the heart level. 
hold and release. Well done everyone. Now we bring our feet together for the final posture. We place our right hand below the navel, left on the top, covering the energy center. See how that feels. And just allow yourself to reflect. How do you feel after the workout? Focus on the muscles first. Your arms, your legs, your back, chest, tummy, even your face muscles. Now focus on the joints, including the spine. See how the spine feels. Now notice any sensation in the body. When the pulsation, vibrations, that's how the inner energy moves. Now focus on your heartbeat. See if the heart is happy after the workout. And now focus on your breathing. Now inhale through the nose and exhale through your toes and feet. Try to do that. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the feet. Keep going that way. Excellent. Now open your eyes. I hope you feel good. Thank you very much for your participation. Namaste. Keep practicing. And um, I'll see you later. Thank you.